Hi guys, Bon here. Today we are going to be talking about COVID vaccine stocks and how important they are to the economy and to the stock market themselves. I won't be covering all the stocks today because there are eight of them and I wouldn't be doing it justice if I covered all eight of them in one video because that would just take a whole lot of time. So I'm going to split it up into five videos and each video is going to get its own vaccine topic. Now there are hundreds of companies racing to get the COVID vaccine cure, but we are only going to be talking about those companies in the Operation Warp Speed. So you may be asking, what is Operation Warp Speed? Well, Operation Warp Speed is a brand new public-private partnership between the federal government and the companies that are going to be producing the COVID vaccines. The project has a budget of at least $10 billion. So this project is meant to fund the companies that are the closest to finding a vaccine for the COVID-19. And currently there are eight companies in this project. So those companies are Johnson & Johnson, AstraZeneca Oxford, right? Pfizer and BioNTech, Moderna, Merck, Vaxart, Inovio, and Novavax. Now, out of these eight companies, we are only gonna be looking at five companies, and those are BioNTech, Moderna, Vaxart, Inovio, and Novavax. Now, the reason why we are only gonna be looking at these five companies is because these companies are small. Right? These five companies are on the smaller scale. The other companies are over $200 billion worth. These companies are from $2 billion to around $30 billion worth. So they are a lot smaller and they have the highest potential for really big growth. So and that's why we're going to be looking at these companies in the next five-ish videos. And before we get started, I would just like to say that this is for entertainment purposes only, okay? If you guys are going to be investing in this stock, please do your own due diligence. Just take my videos and take my advice and use that to learn more about the stock. All right, so with that, let's get started. So today we are going to be looking at Moderna and the lesson plan for today is what is Moderna and what has it done, the stock prices and its trends, upcoming news, right? news that could affect its stock prices, and finally, my predictions and what I am going to do. Okay, so let's talk about the basics of Moderna and what has been going on over the last three months since the COVID-19 outbreak. So in order to make this video as short as possible, I am just going to be going over the highlights of the company and what they do. So the only thing that you guys need to know so far about Moderna is that it is making the vaccine for COVID-19. Right? Its phase one trial is great. Right? It is very safe. It is safe for humans and they produce results. And uh, that is about it. That is all the important news that you guys need to know. Okay, so now let's talk about the more important stuff and that is the Moderna stock. So currently Moderna is at $82. Its 52 week range is from $11.54. 1154, right? All the way to $95.21. That's a very, very big difference, right? Its market cap is $30 billion. Its earnings per share is negative 1.5. If we look at their financials, we can see that their trailing 12 months only has $81 million in revenue. Its operating expense is $650 million, okay? So its operating expense is way more than its total revenue. And that's okay, okay? For a biotech company, that's very understandable because a lot of their money goes into R&D and that is why they are one of the leading candidates for the COVID-19 vaccine. All right, and now the question is, why is the stock sinking, okay? So for that, let's look at the charts. Well, as you guys can see here, ever since July 13th, it has been on a very, very crazy rally. And the reason for that is because of two big news. And the first news came on Monday, July 13th. This was when it was first announced that Moderna would be included in the NASDAQ 100. Yes, Moderna is now included in the NASDAQ 100 as of today. So because of that, it had a very, very hot rally on Monday. And since then, it has been going up. And then on Wednesday, on Wednesday, it had another big news and that big news was that the phase one trial for the Moderna vaccine was a huge success. They had 45 participants in their phase one study trial and all 45 of them show increased antibodies for the COVID vaccine. So because of that, their stock jumped like crazy. 
but it wasn't too crazy. It wasn't until Friday, okay? It wasn't until Friday here that it jumped up another 15%. And the reason why I think the stock jumped 15% on Friday was because they were expecting once Moderna gets inducted into the NASDAQ 100, it would go up. But contrary to what people thought, um, it went down. It went down hard, okay? Right now, currently it is at $81. At one point this morning, it was at $78. And the other reason for that is because JP Morgan has recently said that currently Moderna is too expensive, okay? It is just too expensive. And that just came out today. And because of that news, Stock tumbled, it, it was way too high on Friday, so now it is down. All right, so now let's talk about the upcoming news for Moderna, what you guys can be expecting, and what event is probably gonna trigger another rally. So the first upcoming event is that Moderna is starting their phase three trial on July 27th, which is next week. Now, currently there are only three companies in phase three trials. They are AstraZeneca with the University of Oxford, Moderna and Sinovac Biotech. Moderna is the only one scheduled to start phase three, but these other two companies are gonna be starting really soon, probably within two weeks. So um, watch out for them. So if they are starting phase three trials, then that means that phase two trials are done. And if phase two trials are done, where are the results? Right, where are the results? Well, uh, the results are still being calculated. They're still being analyzed and they are going to be reported. The question is when, right? Because that is the biggest money question. Because you guys know when they're going to report the phase two results, then that is probably when the stock market is gonna jump. So in my opinion, the phase two trials is gonna be released at the earliest, very earliest, around mid-August. That's pretty much the earliest that it can be released. Realistically, it'll probably be near the end of August and probably into September. But uh, look for it there and because those trial results are going to be very, very big news. And then after that, phase three results will probably be around the end of the year to early next year because they had to go through 30,000 people. 30,000 test participants for phase three trials. So that's a long time. Their data is going to be... It's going to take a long time for them to publish their data. All right, so now finally, what am I going to be doing with Moderna stocks from now till the end of the year-ish? So for me, I just sold all of my Moderna stock last Friday at around $83. I didn't hit the 90s, but um, I'm okay. I made around $20, $23 from my Moderna stock, so I'm pretty, pretty happy. So right now, my plan is to wait for it to go down and buy it at a little bit at a time. Right. My price target for Moderna right now is in the mid to low 70s, okay? Um, probably to the lower 70s, around 73-ish. So I still think it can go down another seven points. And if we look at its three month chart, we can see a very similar pattern. We can see here that on May 6, 2020, it was at $48 and then within a week or so, a week or two, it hit $80. And then once it hit $80, it had a very, very bad week, went down all the way to $52, which is very close to the $48 here. So um, I would say that it could go back down to the 60s again, but I wouldn't bet on it. For me, I would start buying the stock at around low 70s. I think that the low 70s is a good target price range for that, and I'm gonna be buying it from now till probably to the end of the year. I still think that it's gonna jump, okay? If Moderna hit $95 on Friday, I think it can hit $95 again. All right, guys, well, that's all the have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like the content, if you guys think that it's valuable, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't done so already, please subscribe. I am trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of August. I know I can do it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.